Senator Chuck Schumer has been a federal lawmaker since 1981, more than 40 years. Now, as Senate Majority Leader since 2021, he's a powerful Democratic senator. He is, to say the least, not well liked by Republicans, partially because of his brash personality, but also, of course, because of his far left positions and policies. So where did the influential Chuck Schumer come from? What's his background? How did he rise to Senate leadership? And just how rich is Chuck Schumer? Stay tuned till the end of this video and let's find out. Charles Ellis Schumer was born on November 23, 1950 in Brooklyn, New York. His father, Abraham Schumer, owned a small exterminating business and his mother Selma was a homemaker. Schumer, his younger brother Robert and younger sister Fran were brought up in the Jewish faith. He attended public schools in Brooklyn and graduated from James Madison High School in 1967 where he was the class valedictorian. He represented the school on the TV quiz show It's Academic. According to the New York Times, he helped his team win the New York City Finals by identifying titanium dioxide as the pigment in white paint. At James Madison, he earned a perfect score of 1600 on the Scholastic Aptitude Test. After his high school graduation, Schumer headed for Harvard College, followed by Harvard University, where he earned a bachelor's degree in political science in 1971 and a Juris Doctor in Law in 1974. He was elected to represent New York's 45th Legislative District in the State Assembly. At 24, he became the Assembly's youngest member since Theodore Roosevelt. There, Schumer served three terms from 1975 to 1981. In 1980, he married Iris Weinsall, a graduate of Brooklyn College. She earned a Master's of Public Administration degree from New York University. Since then, she has served as a Vice President of the New York State's Urban Development Corporation, then Regional Vice President of Integrated Resources and several other administrative posts. Weinsall is now the Chief Operating Officer at the New York Public Library. Schumer and his wife have two daughters, Jessica and Allison. In 2018, Allison married her partner, Elizabeth Weiland. As an interesting side note, Chuck Schumer and comedian Amy Schumer are second cousins. In 1981, Schumer was elected to Congress as a representative of New York's 16th Congressional District, replacing Congresswoman Elizabeth Holtzman, who had won the Democratic nomination for a Senate seat being vacated by Republican Jacob Javits. Schumer won that race and was subsequently re-elected eight times. Chuck Schumer set his eyes on the Senate in 1998. He won the Democratic primary with 51% of the vote against Geraldine Ferraro and Mark Green. In the general election, he defeated incumbent Republican Al D'Amato. He has been a U.S. Senator ever since. In the Senate, Schumer became known for his efforts to advance liberal causes. He was a supporter of same-sex marriage and abortion rights, and a vocal critic of President Donald Trump and his policies. He played an active role in the impeachments of Trump. First, in 2019, when the House impeached the president over allegations that he had tried to pressure Ukraine into opening an investigation into Joe Biden. When the impeachment went to the Senate, which was under Republican control, Schumer tried to negotiate a deal with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to secure additional witnesses and documents. McConnell blocked his requests, and Trump was acquitted in a nearly party-line vote. Schumer later had harsh words for Trump accusing him of a lack of leadership as cases of the coronavirus, known as COVID-19, began to mount. Because of the virus and its devastating effects on the economy, Schumer was active in negotiations that led to a $2 trillion stimulus paid to business owners and individual taxpayers. In November of 2020, former Vice President Joe Biden was elected president, prompting Trump and some of his backers to claim that the election had been stolen from him. He pushed voter fraud theories on social media. On January 13, 2021, just a week before his term was to end, Trump was impeached again, this time for incitement of insurrection, alleging that Trump had incited a riot at the U.S. Capitol. Again, he was acquitted. Following that acquittal, Schumer delivered a speech on the Senate floor, saying in part that Trump summoned his supporters to Washington, assembled them on the ellipse, whipped them into a frenzy, and directed them at the Capitol. And then he watched as the violence unfolded and the Capitol was breached, and his own vice president fled for his life, and President Trump did nothing. He then set his sights on the Senate, saying, It was subject to a feeble and sometimes incomprehensible defense of the former president. Unable to dispute the case on the merits, the former president's counsel treated us to partisan vitriol, false equivalents, and outright falsehoods. Trump fired back 
In a rambling letter to Schumer, he said with a reference to Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, No wonder AOC and others are thinking about running against you in the primary. If they did, they would likely win. So there was no love lost between Schumer and the former president. In 2022, a Supreme Court draft opinion was leaked to the press. That opinion would overturn Roe v. Wade, a nearly 50-year-old legal precedent ruling that the right to privacy implied in the 14th Amendment to the Constitution protected abortion as a fundamental right. When this was made public, it sparked a fierce and angry reaction from pro-abortion advocates. And Schumer, as Senate Minority Leader, delivered a speech on the steps of the Supreme Court, which sounded like a threat against two justices, one of whom was nominated to the court by Trump. He said, I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind and you will pay the price. You won't know what hit you if you go forward with these awful decisions. This ominous sounding statement prompted Chief Justice John Roberts to issue a statement saying Schumer's words were not only inappropriate, but dangerous. The next day, Schumer tried to walk back his statement saying, I should not have used the words I used. They did not come out the way I intended. Schumer may have been sincere, but the speech revealed, in stark relief, his pugnacious personality. But let's go back to the original question. How rich is Chuck Schumer? What's his net worth? Some say he's worth $900,000, but most say he's one of the most wealthiest members of the Senate with a net worth of around $70 million. Where did that money come from? His salary as a U.S. Senator and Majority Leader is $193,000 annually. But Schumer was an early investor in Apple and owned stock in BP, Verizon, and PepsiCo. He reportedly earns as much as $400,000 per month from his investments. In 2018, allegations surfaced claiming Schumer had taken $50,000 in donations from Facebook and landed a cushy job for his daughter Allison as a Facebook product marketing manager. That job paid an estimated $160,000 per year, according to Glassdoor.com. Since then, Schumer has been a strong advocate of Facebook in the Senate. The New York Times reported that he pressured Senator Mark Warner of Virginia to back off from investigating the company. Schumer maintained his support of Facebook even when it came out that Russian trolls used the platform to interfere with the 2016 presidential election. In 2002, it appeared that a Russian oligarch made contributions to Schumer, which his Senate campaign reportedly has yet to refund. Federal election law prohibits political contributions from foreign nationals. Then, in 2022, Schumer was accused of delaying a vote on bipartisan antitrust legislation until after midterm elections. The bill, co-sponsored by Democratic Senator Amy Klobuchar and Republican Chuck Grassley, sought to prevent huge online companies like Google and Amazon from using their platforms to give special advantages to their own products, a practice known as self-preferencing. Evan Greer, the director of a digital rights group called Fight for the Future, alleged that the delay was not about a busy legislative calendar, but rather corruption, plain and simple, and the nauseating influence of big tech money in D.C. Schumer is a major beneficiary of big tech campaign money. Having won a historic fifth term in the Senate, Chuck Schumer will be up for re-election in 2029. He's now 72, and if he wins re-election, he will be 80 years old at the beginning of his sixth term, and there are no indications that he's ready to retire.